How's it going everybody? Hope you all are having a wonderful day today. In this video, I am going to show you uh, Red Magic 6 owners on how to gain root access on this device. Follow the steps exactly in the video and don't leave any steps out while doing this or you will end up with a bricked Red Magic 6 and 6 Pro. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to enable OEM unlock in the phone settings. So once you have the phone booted, you want, um, you want to go ahead and go to scroll to your settings, scroll all the way down to you see about phone right here, and you want to go ahead and just tap it, and you will see a bunch of stuff right here. You want to find the one that says build number, and you want to go ahead and tap this seven times. Once you're here, in developer options, you want to go ahead and find an option called OEM Unlocking, and you just want to go ahead and tick that. Um, once it's enabled, uh, we're going to go ahead and unlock the bootloader through the computer. So I'll see you all at the computer. Okay, so now we are ready to um, unlock the bootloader. What you want to do is hold the uh, restart the device, and um, once it's restarting, you want to hold the volume down button, and it will take you into the bootloader menu. And this is the command you want to type, fast boot flashing unlock. Pretty simple. Um, once it's flashed uh, and unlocked, uh, we're gonna go ahead and patch our magic, uh, our boot image. So we'll head back to the phone. Okay, so the next step that we need to do is download the stock phone. Um, I will provide a link into the description below in my YouTube video. All you need to do is just download that file and you should be presented with a, a file called nx669jupdate.zip and you want to go ahead and um, go to Solid Explorer. I use, you're going to need a file browser to extract it. I use Solid Explorer. We'll just go ahead and open it. Once you're here, you want to click it. You want to click the little three dots and you want to extract it somewhere into your uh, SD card. Once it's extracted, you should be prepared, uh, presented with a file called payload.bin. You'll just need to extract that. Um, what I'm going to do, I, what I did, I made a folder called payload and I put it in this folder. Once you have also downloaded the payload dumper, uh, which I will provide a link in the description below on how to get the payload dumper, you want to do the same thing. You want to extract those files into this folder. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to install a terminal emulator called Termux, and this is how we're going to extract the ROM. We're just going to go ahead and install it. Once you have it opened up, um, you will be presented with a menu like this, and what we need to do is install Python onto the, uh, the, the Termux application. So the first thing we're going to type, go ahead and type PKG install python dash y and it's going to go ahead and install the python files As you can see, it's extracting it. Now we need to type pip install pro tobf protobuf. All right, once you've done that, uh, you want to go ahead and then type apt update do the little and symbol you need to type that twice uh, apt upgrade dash y and it will pretty much update anything that's kind of out of date Right here, you just I type yes, type yes again, type yes again, 
by typing uh, Y. Okay, one last thing we need to do <clears throat> before we get, go ahead and extract the files. We need to type trmux dash setup dash storage. What this will do is uh, it will, um, when you type this, it will ask to um, Termix to grant you access to your files on the device. You just want to go ahead and type allow. Once we're done, we are now ready to extract. So basically, what we need to do is we need to change the directory of where we put our uh, the folder. So for instance, I my folder was SD card um, payload. So it's going to be cd slash sd card slash payload. Okay. Now we're in. All we need to do is type Python payload underscore dumper dot py and then type the file that we're going to extract. So we're going to put payload dot bin. And once it's done, it should go ahead and start extracting the binary file onto your phone. It will take a bit, but just bear with me here. This will take a while, so if you want to, you can skip ahead into the video where it shows the part where I have it extracted. Um, this will take a second. All right, now you should be done. The file should now be extracted. And here they are, here are the files. Um, and it should be, if you start seeing a bunch of files, that means that it was successful. Um, now what we need to do is, there's a file called boot image. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this to my root directory. And now we are ready to root. Uh, or we are ready to patch the boot image. Now what we need to do is install Magisk. So we'll um, go ahead and download Magisk. I will provide a link in the description below on how to get it. I will uh, provide a link. You just want to click that link and download the APK and, and go ahead and install it. Okay, so once you have Magisk installed, um, the first thing we need to do is you want to tap install 
method, you want to set, select uh, and patch a file. You want to go ahead and find that boot image file. And you want to tap let's go. It's going to unpack the boot Im uh, image. It'll check the RAM, st uh, RAM disk status, stock boot image detected, blah, 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 blah. And now it should be done. It will provide you the location of what uh, what the image got patched. So it says that my location is uh, under the SD card download with just patched.image. So this file here, um, you will need to plug this phone into your computer and we're going to move this file to the desktop. One last thing I forgot to mention is that uh, we will need to move another file to the desktop. Uh, when you're moving the files, not only you're going to move your Majisk patched image, you want to move a file called bbmeta.image. It's this file right here. We will need this to uh, disable Verity on the device. If you do not, uh, the phone will not do. So uh, not only you need to copy your Majisk file, but copy this file as well. Alrighty, and last but not least, we are going to go ahead and uh, get this thing rooted. So those two files that I told you to move to the desktop, um, you want to go ahead and put them somewhere uh, on your C drive. I made a folder called uh, Magisk, and I have the two files right here. I renamed the patch boot image to Magisk boot image, so that way you just be easier to type when you uh, type it. Um, it said something like Magisk patch, but I just changed it to Magisk boot image. Make sure you also have VB Meta right here. And here's how we're going to root the phone. What you need to first do is type, if I get my keyboard handy keyboard here, we're going to type fast boot flash boot um, magist boot dot image. Once you've done that, it should go ahead and say something like sending and then it'll say done. Um, now we're not done just yet. We need to do something really quick here. We need to um, disable Verity on the device. So the first thing we need to do is type dash boot dash dash disable dash Verity put another dash two dashes Disable verification um, VB Meta, and you want to type VB Meta dot image. Once you type that, it will go ahead and flash that file, and that's pretty much it. Once you have those two files flashed, you will need to then reboot into your recovery and you will need to perform another factory reset. After you have done that, you should now have root access on your phone. Congratulations, and I hope that this video helped everyone wanting to root their Red Magic 6 and their Red Magic 6 Pro.